It'd be like this. If you came to me and said, Eric, um, man, I, I really like you. I just don't like your kids, bro. You would never say that to me because you're not an idiot. You would never say that. <laughs> you, you also would not come to me and say, Eric, I'm cool with you, man. Like you. Um, but I don't like when you talk about your wife, Kay, or when you post pictures um, of Kay. I like you, but I can't stand your wife. You would, you would never say that because you don't want to get in a fist fight with me. You would never say that. But understand in the scripture that the gathering of God's people, the community of God's people is compared to both his kids and his wife. The church is made up of people he has adopted for himself from every tribe, tongue, and nation. And so the church is the gathering of people, not just you who Jesus has rescued, but he's rescued other people, some like you and some unlike you, but he's put us together in community. And he calls the church, he calls this his bride. His bride, we are not perfect. We are not perfect. But we have been clothed in the righteousness of Jesus. He has adorned us according to the scripture in a, in a robe and he has declared us his pure and perfect bride. I am so impure, I am so imperfect, but Jesus in his mercy and his grace has given me all of his righteousness and his perfection. And he's done the same for my brothers and sisters in Christ. So much so, he loves us so much that he's called us his bride his bride that he gave himself for. He gave himself for the church. He gave himself for us. So we should be cautious about how we speak about the wife of Jesus and the kids of Jesus.